Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Duck of the Gamer back in with another video. Now in today's video, I am going to be testing the theory or the new rates, the pull rates that EA have supposedly put into Pro Packs with the new Madden Mobile update. So um, I saw this when I was flipping through the, uh, the slides on the stream last night. Um, I, I didn't catch this in the video at first, but everyone was like, dude, um, open the pro packs. There's new, um, you know, enhanced chances at pulling elites. So as you can see, it says a greater chance of pulling elites in pro packs. Now, I don't know if this is a 1% increase, a 10% increase, but last night I opened 100 pro packs. And I pulled around seven or eight elites. So I would say it has improved, but um, on a video, I am going to putting 40 pro packs because I don't want to open a like, you know, a just absolute ton because it would take way too long for the video. Um, so I'm going to be keeping it kind of short, kind of concise, but 40 is still a lot of pro packs for one video. So there is a red zone pack out today. I kind of want to open it. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to open it because it's kind of a waste of money. But anyways, Pro Packs 20 on my main account, and then I will be opening um, 20 on one of my alt accounts. So we'll, I'm, I'm really interested to see how many elites I can pull. If I can pull four elites, then I will say that the pack odds have definitely increased. And uh, just by looking at the price of elite players on the auction house, they're down to around 40,000 coins now. Um, now, this may be because of, one, the Pro Pack elite odds. They have risen. Or it might be, uh, be because of the free elite you're literally given from the All Madden live events. Um, it also might be from the new, uh, you know, 20 gold players equals one elite player. So there's a lot of factors going into the, the drop of the price of elite players, but it's way overdue. I'm pretty sure every other Madden mobile at this point in time, the elites are going for around 15,000 coins. And that's even with coin selling because coin selling usually makes everything a lot more expensive. But even though the coin selling hasn't been around for almost two months now, the price of elites was still relatively high for this uh, this time in the Madden Mobile sort of auction house uh, time span, I guess you could say. But no elites so far, nothing even you know worth mentioning to be honest. Everything has been basically 76s, 75s. Um, I did manage to sell off every single one of my gold players um, on my basically all my alt accounts, my main account. I made back around 1.2 million coins on one of my alt accounts just from all the gold that I sold. And I'm really happy because I got most of them off for around 6,000 coins. And then one account, I relisted them for around 5,000 coins. But still, uh, their average is around 4,000 coins for once again this time of the year. It's been pretty steady in gold players. Uh, the price is always relatively steady when it comes to when it comes to the auction house. So I am glad I did get a little bit of uh, extra coins. I got to clear off my bench sort of uh, for pack openings and all that good stuff. But wow, I'm, I mean, I can't say I see any, any increased odds in these packs. Uh, I had claims that someone opened all 20 packs and pulled like five elites. Um, I did on one account manage to get three, I believe. Also in some accounts last night, I wasn't able to get a single elite player. So we're 15 packs in, not one elite player in this video. Um, Jack Doyle, not an elite player last time I checked, especially his card art, you know, doesn't really, not red, so not what I'm looking for. Anything, anything. Come on, I mean, I'm trying to, EA, I'm trying to promote your game, I'm trying to give you some love, trying to show that everyone, these packs are good, but uh, if they're not going to want to give me any, any sweet pulls, I guess we're we're going to be a little salty for this first, uh, first account, there's still, okay, there's one more pack, there's one shred of hope, there's one ray of light left for this account, if we can pull something, we'll see, no, so we get a 77 to end it off, we get 20 gold players, not even a double gold pack, you know, it would have been okay for a double gold pack or something to sort of make up, but nothing that made us profit whatsoever out of this pack. Um, but I believe also, fun fact before I go to the next account, right now the current state of the auction house and the bronze player's price and everything, if you open these packs, you should be able to almost make back every single one of your coins. Um, so if the if the pri or the or the percentages of these players have actually risen quite a bit, I mean, for this account, I guess I just got unlucky, but if you're getting lucky, then you might actually be able to make profit off of pro packs because gold players, 4K, bronze players, 1K, um, you'll be losing a few hundred coins each pack from uh, just the tax and all that stuff. But so an elite player, that's an absolute ton of profit for the pack. So I thought I would just throw that in there before heading on to the next account. And also guys, I just want to go ahead and give an insanely huge shout out to everyone who tuned into the live stream last night. Um, I guess I didn't sell any golds on this account, Ripperoni that. I thought I did on most of my accounts. I'm pretty sure this is the only one I didn't do it on or maybe I already claimed it. Um, but last night's stream was insanely successful. I had a blast. I might be doing it tonight. I'm not sure. I really just want to save my stream, uh, my next stream, and, uh, until the until Draft Champions comes out because 
I thought it was coming out today. You know, last night we got the update in the App Store for Draft Champions. I was super excited, super hyped and pumped for the, for the update coming and everything. But apparently, they took it out of the App Store, like the, the new update. And uh, obviously, it's not in the game so far. I know. I checked at 9 o'clock. I checked at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock on the hour. Nothing was in the game related to Draft Champions. And it's 6 o'clock right now. Nothing is dropped. I mean... If it doesn't drop by 7, that's our last chance, basically. So, I don't know if I'm going to stream tonight. But it should be coming extremely soon. If not tonight, probably tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, sometime tomorrow. It should be coming just because if they're going to push the update. And, you know, it's going to have this super hyped launch with the tournament. And, you know, the Draft Champions tournament, all that cool stuff. I think it would make sense to do it all around the same time. But maybe that's just me. Maybe they'll drop it in next week. I'm not too sure. But uh, so far... We are six packs in and not a single gold player. Not a, okay, with all gold players, excuse me, but not a single elite player has grazed our packs. It's been gifted to us in one of these pro packs. I might open a few super pro packs at the end just to try to pull an elite if I don't get anything. But uh, the so-called increased, increased chance of pulling elites, I'm not seeing it today. Yesterday, I was kind of feeling the love from EA. Today, they're kind of slapping me in the face. You know, I, I thought I had a great video plan. It was going to show you guys open pro packs. You can make some profit. Uh, may maybe not. I, I don't, honestly, I don't know. And uh, I talked a little bit about a coin making method for this uh, new update. And basically, that was just bit sniping. Oh, we got one. Let's go, boys. We got an elite. It only took, keep in mind, it only took 30 packs for us to pull an elite. But we did. I don't know what's in it. We're going to try to keep it sort of, uh, we're going to try to hype it up as much as we can. So, 3, 2, 1. Hopefully, this is a 90 overall banger. Antonio Brown. Let's go, boys. Oh, 85 Emmanuel Sanders. Now, I know the overall doesn't affect the price too much, but an 85 is definitely, definitely a good pull. Now, if I can pull one more elite, I will, I will say this video is not a flop because pulling one elite out of all these packs will grant you at least a little bit of profit after tax. Um, I will check the price of elite players after I'm done with these packs to see how the coin making uh, method side of this uh, pack opening will be going for anyone who wants to try it on their own. But if you just get super unlucky, unlucky, the worst that can happen is you lose like 20k coins maybe. And there's always next day, there's always um, the automatic pack and stuff like that. But really, you're probably not going to pull an elite out of one of those packs. So still trucking along with the golds, nothing new. Uh, we have five packs remaining on this account, and that's going to be it. I could go on another account, a third account for 60 pro packs, but then the video is just really dragging on. You guys probably don't want to watch that much of me just opening boring pro packs. Uh, but we are trying to test the new uh, increased chances at an elite. You know, I put I put quotes around it because we don't we we have no way of telling if they're increased. I mean, they could just put that on the news article slide. And we can we have no way to verify that we have literally zero ways of verifying that the yes that the chance of elites was actually increased we get a double gold pack which is pretty cool but we are on to our last pack if we can't pull an elite it won't be a complete flop because at least we got one i've had pack openings 60 pro packs not a single elite player so that's a little unfortunate and that's also unfortunate that we don't manage to pull uh, another elite in this pack open but regardless i'm gonna go ahead and check the prices of elites real quick before i end off this video for you guys so elite players they're going from 45k yesterday so let's check 40k maybe it's gone down even further it has honestly it's kind of gone down even a little bit further which i'm really happy about elites need to go down in price it's been way way too long since they've it's been chilling at like 70 80 000 coins they're at 120k per elite player at one point in time um so it, i guess it is apparent that either you're getting a free elite every single day from the uh, from the new promo, the All Madden promo, um, either the, the the new set, that's also a contributing factor in this. But either way, the prices have basically been cut in half, or at least 20 to 30k for these players, which I am extremely happy about. So if you guys have been looking to cop an elite player and it's been a few thousand coins short or it's just way too expensive, um, then I guess now is the time. But still... I would just recommend buying golds and training them up. That's still probably a better bet if you're really low on coins. But if you just want to ball, be a big baller brand, go out, spend some coins, I guess now is the time. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and smack the crap out of that like button. I'm, I'm back on the grind, boys. Um, I might be doing some NBA live content too. Not sure. 
not really sure if i can find a video that i really want to do i probably will end up doing it but i just don't know what to do in that game because i don't play enough um but also if you guys are new to the channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button we got 100 subs in yesterday's live stream so it was absolutely insane the comeback to the streaming world was so crazy so once again huge shout out to all of you guys for the support in yesterday's live stream but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace